Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today, today I'm actually going to cherry pick uh, a topic, meaning uh, people have been talking about it today um, in, in uh, discords and things like that. So this is not an original idea of mine. Um, also, Patriot6 has done a video uh, a few months back um, in which he had a whole bunch of different things. Stephen had a whole bunch of different things that he was talking about, and this topic was one of them. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a cherry pick. So, I want to give credit to those guys that that uh, have already done this. But, you know, I'm just going to add it to my library, too, just in case you guys want to... Uh, see how it works i'm just going to do a simple one so you can kind of get the idea but i really encourage that you um uh get on uh Federico pinati's discord because there's some discussion about that uh also go to patriot six's youtube channel uh steven uh would I'd like to see you give Steven some love and some support there as well at Patriot 6. But this deals with vector placement. Okay, and I, I don't really, I haven't used it a lot. Okay, I really haven't. But uh, I'm starting to use it more and more because it is quite useful. Now, here I'm at my 5 Alpha 1. And I'm working on uh, some scenery. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed that I am, I have Summit Motor Sports Park as a separate item on my FlightSim.to uh, profile, where you can download the drag race, the drag strip stadium, whatever. But I am now going, I'm actually including that scenery in my 5 Alpha 1 airport that I'll be publishing here hopefully this week. But I digress. I know I'm, I'm, my, my lips are made out of rubber once they start bouncing. I can't stop talking. I apologize for that. All right, so let's talk about vector placement. If you notice, um, it used to be where I would uh, grab an item, um, let's say, let's grab a, let's look for concrete, all right, and then there's a fence, concrete for, let me do a uh, one-click placement for that, no, that's vector placement, I don't want that yet, we're going to go to scenery, and we're going to go to concrete, show you kind of the difference all right and let's choose all here and then i'm going to go down and find that concrete for this little barrier okay see this little barrier kind of resembles this barrier that i have as an object uh for this particular airport or this particular scenery all right so if i you know you, you could place the objects all right and let's say you want one here and then you want one there see see you're you're clicking a whole bunch of these objects right so i'm going to do a control z and we're going to add add uh undo that all right and my picture is starting to freeze on my screen i apologize for that you guys don't need to see my ugly mug anyway all right so i'm going to turn off one click placing all right so adding that object one piece at a time is really annoying they may not get lined up correctly but let me show you what vector placement does all right so i'm going to switch from scenery object down to a vector placement object and i'm going to hit all so i can have all the libraries for the objects and i'm going to type in that concrete for or concrete again and i'm going to look for concrete uh, that fence concrete for I'm going to select on that and then I'm going to hit an add okay now I'm going to kind of zoom out a little bit or change my placement so I can see here a little bit and I am simply going to hold the left control key and I'm going to click a starting point right there 
and then I'm going to take this all the way down to the end. I'm just using my middle mouse button and holding down the alt key and let's say for now just for this video I am going to end it right here at the end of the drag pavement all right this is the overflow this is where they slow down even though that goes all the way down at the end for this particular example I'm just going to click at the end of this pavement right here this asphalt and I'm going to just click once and then I'm going to hit enter all right whoops uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. what did I do yeah, now I'm going to hit enter. There you go. All right, now notice that it has added the concrete barrier. All right, but it's not one continuous line. Okay, well, go to the properties, and you're going to notice that this, by default, is adding this concrete barrier every 50 meters. Okay, so let's kind of zoom out a little bit and come down to our starting point just so we can take a look. All right, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, kind of turn my thing here. All right, now if I come to the distance spacing and I bring this all the way down, notice that. Notice right here how it is starting to fill in based on the distance of that particular object. And when I get down to point, point 0.1, it actually puts those together. All right. So now I have this concrete barrier that runs all the way down, and I didn't have to add those little pieces individually. So Vector placement is a really, really good tool. All right. Now you could also, you could also scale the models that you're using 1.5, so it makes it a little bigger. Okay, so it's almost getting to the size of the barrier that I actually have modeled. All right. So yeah, vector placement is a really good tool. And now there's a wall on the other side. I don't have to use vector placement. I can just come over here, duplicate it, and then slide it over to the other side. Okay. Now I might have to go into my model and make some uh, revisions to my model. Or... <laughs> Dude, there we go that's good enough for now okay or I don't have to make any revisions to my model but I'm going to select this handle and just scoot that up just a skosh that's an official term there skosh all right so for those that are wondering about uh, vector placement now there is one going down the middle too so let's duplicate this again and then I'm going to slide that over right down the middle of my track. And I might have to move it up just a little bit because it's interfering with the start. So I'm just going to move that up right there. Okay. So I was able to put this barrier based on one little object. And basically it's kind of like... Um, I do a lot of blender videos right so it's kind of like an array so that's what vector placement is like it's a it's an array that you can use to add um, reoccurring objects okay now you cannot use it for sim objects it has to be a static scenery object all right so if you want more information or ask more questions you can leave comments in the video uh, down below or you can go to uh, Frederico Pinotti's uh, Discord and join that Discord and get uh, talk about the because they have a thread where they're talking about it. And you can go to Patriot Six's Discord or go to his YouTube channel. So yeah, give give Mamu and Patriot Six some love and go to their go to their places. But anyway, I wanted to show you. 
uh, vector placement in action uh, as well I'm adding it to my library too so anyway I will see you guys on the next video I hope this helps and we'll talk to you later see ya